Hello everybody and welcome to my maths activity for your maths day today and it is called Magic Squares. Um, I really hope that you uh, enjoy it. Okay, it's a fun one uh, but it is challenging so do have a go and show some resilience um, as you're doing it. Okay, so the first thing you're doing is quite correct. You're watching the video so well done uh, for clicking onto that first. Uh, and then the next thing you're going to do is click onto the next slide, which will take you here to the Magic Square page uh, and a game that you can play uh, on a website. OK, so I'm going to show you what it's all about. OK, so click on the link and it will take you to this website. OK, so you have a grid which has got uh, three columns and three rows. So altogether it has nine boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine and you have nine counters up here the numbers one to nine uh, to place in the boxes okay so you can put them in the different boxes like this oops move up and down okay now i've just put them in any old place uh, just here but your job actually is uh, a bit more complicated than that because you've got to try and make each row and each column add up to exactly the same amount. And not only the rows and the columns, but also the diagonals, diagonal this way and diagonal that way. Okay, so let's just have a look at what these add up to so far. So we have on this top row, we have six add four. What's six add four? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, isn't it? So we've got the biggest number in our head, added on four, we're at ten. And if we had three more, we're at yeah, 13. So this row adds up to 13. This row here, let's have a look. We're starting to start with the biggest number again. 9 add 5. Well, I know 9 add 1 is 10. So add the other 4. I'm on 14. Add 2 more. I'm now on 16. So that's 16. And this bottom row is 7 add 8, which I know is 15. Add my 1 is 16. Hmm. So they all added up to different amounts. Let's look at the columns as well three add two add one three four five six and i've got this column here nine add six or well, nine add one is ten add another five is sixteen add seven someone uh, sorry nine add one uh, add another five is fifteen add my seven so that's add five add two so that's fifteen add five is twenty add two more is twenty two and then this column here, I've got my 8 at my 5, so 8, 9, 10, plus the other 3 is 13, plus the 4 is 17. So they've all added up to different amounts. I could also check my diagonals. And if I press this button here, it shows me what all of those columns, actually, and all of those rows add up to, and my diagonals as well. Now, they didn't all equal the same amount, so that wasn't right. Uh, so I've got to move my numbers around. So let's try again. So I need to try, so I'm going to have a look at this one. 7 add 4 is 11, add 1 is 12. So maybe I'll start off seeing if I can make them add up to 12. So 6 add 5 is 11. Hmm, no, then I would need another 1 there. So that's not going to work. Uh, so I could try 6 add 2 is 8. Hmm, no, then I would need a 4 to make it into 12. So that's not going to work either. Let's try 9, add 2 is 11. Oh, no, I need a 1. What about hmm, 6, add 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I need 3 more. I've only got 1, 3. Oh, it's tricky. Okay, so I'm going to try a different number. Maybe 12 is the wrong number. So I'm going to try 6, add 3, add 2. That's 5. That's 11. Let's see if I can make 11 in another way. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, because I've got one gap there. Hmm, so 11's not big enough. Let's try another. So you keep on trying until you can find a number which you can make the rows and the columns all the same. And you'll have to do lots of swapping around and lots of going. But each time you try, you can either add it up yourself, uh, which is a good idea uh, to try that first. But then just to check, you can have a check and see. Okay, so my rows and columns aren't the same, so I need to have another go. And you can keep on having a go until you get them all the same. And then when you click onto the last slide on my presentation, you can find the solution if you didn't get there. Now, this is the um, 
magic square number one it says here I need to try again so I'm going to keep on trying but if I manage to do that I can try all these different levels now it gets harder and harder and it is already quite challenging so uh, if you manage to do it very very well done and if you want to challenge yourself further maybe try level two and then go up as you complete them um, okay I'd love to hear how you get on so let me go back to the presentation so you try the game uh, you drag the numbers into the boxes to try and make all the rows, all the columns, and the diagonals add up to the same amount. And then, as it says here, well done for challenging yourself with these magic squares. And once you've completed the challenge or shown great resilience trying to solve it, then you can go on to the next slide to see the solution. And that is the solution to uh, level one. Okay, so the, I'm not going to show you that now. Uh, the main thing to do is click on here have a go if you'd rather draw it out of course you can do so you can draw a grid which has got three columns and three rows and try and put the numbers in and see if you can get the rows and the columns to add up to the same amount it is a real challenge uh, children i'll be super impressed if you can have a go uh, but even if you can't do it showing that resilience doing all that adding up uh, is great for your maths brain. So uh, your maths brain needs lots of exercise and you'll get better and better at maths the more exercising of that maths brain that you do. Uh, so do enjoy today, do enjoy the activities uh, and I'll see you later everyone. Okay, and hopefully uh, you'll all have a go at Andrew Jeffrey's um, activity and then be there at the three o'clock club uh, today to see him and his solution and some more maths magic. Okay, bye everyone.